Have you ever had a weekend that's so fun that you think, man, I'm never going to be able to top this? Well, that's exactly what I thought to myself at the 2021 Sea Otter Classic. And then, well, the Rampage weekend happened, and boy was it epic. I found myself flying over the venue with none other than Matt Jones and Danny McAskill himself. Who would have thought? To make matters even better, I got to hang out with them and my good buddies Ty and Danny during the event. Like I said, it couldn't have been better. I was way too busy living in the moment to get a lot of pictures and videos when I was at Rampage. However, I made up for that at the Over the Edge group ride at Little Creek on Saturday. Out here on Little Creek today, after a hell of a day at Rampage, we're just keeping the fun streak going between last weekend and this weekend. Shout out to Quentin for touring us today. And uh, we'll see him shred and a few other guys that are really good like Ren and Eric shred. And Emily's here today on my top field too, so good vibes all around. As you'll see throughout the video, Little Creek is a rather alien environment. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if aliens were there. That was it sick. didn't take long to see that Ren and Quentin knew the Little Creek area very well. It seemed like they had a new line just about everywhere. You got it. Oh! You gotta smush that front end in. Nice. You got it, the smush. Oh, very nice. Way to use the front brake. Still trust him. After following Ren through a few lines, I trusted him a lot. I shouldn't have trusted myself as much. Too much front brake. Yeah, I was trying to slow down because of that. So I just ran out of water. That's a problem. Since we were sessioning, I didn't think we'd be out here this long. So I am definitely parched. I'll be okay though. But look at this view. There are angels in many forms, and this is one of them. Got Eric doing the same there. Following Q has its consequences. <laughs> This is one of my favorite lines of the day. It combined off-camber terrain right, with a lot of trials, hops, and maneuvers. Wow. Yeah, sick. You got the right idea. Get that front wheel up as soon as you can. Nice, Rand. Oh, not nice, not nice. Good save. Okay, I see what you're saying. The guys were calling this climb the birthday cake climb because apparently you only get it once every year. I wasn't able to get it at all. It was one of those moves that had my number for the day. <laughs> that would've been cool. Whoa, I'm lodged. <laughs> it's been real, guys. Pretty much every time that I followed Quentin around, I could expect a very off-camber and technical line.
Avoided the plants. Sick. Good lines, dude. <laughs> Good line. Yeah, it's trippy. Got to give a shout out to Sid for the ride up here and the water and the smooth line choice. After a fun and exhausting day at Little Creek, Emily and I head up the gem trail in Hurricane, Utah. It's a little bit more flowy and is just really a nice cool down lap, especially if you've been doing hard trails all weekend. Nice, Emily. Despite the smooth, flowy nature of the gym trail, I ended up finding myself a waterfall I wanted to climb. Turns out this was the same waterfall I'd barely go down a couple years ago. And I do not want to be stuck in my clips trying to climb this. Yeah! Woo! Nice, babe. <laughs> oh, sorry, chain ring. Way yes. to follow it up. Yes! That's so awesome. <laughs> I barely went down that two years ago. And now we climbed it. And sorry, chain ring on that part. That part doesn't count. Woo! I'm gonna do a victory lap going back down it. Okay. Woo! Getting a little overzealous. <laughs> yeah, that was a big bounce. I'm so stoked I got that though. Me too. That looks awesome. Good save. I did it, I hit the cowbell. Woo! Good job. <laughs> I tried. Emily and I experienced one of the prettiest sunsets we've ever seen. And we also ran into local shredder, Tom Huber, who was about 35 miles deep when we ran into him. Beast. This weekend reminded me how beautiful life can be. It made me that much more thankful for my friends and the area that I live in. Without the people I'm surrounded by, I would be nothing, and I owe it all to you guys. Thanks for tuning in today. I hope your weekend was just as good as mine. Be sure to leave a like, and let me know what you thought of the video in the comments below. Until next time, we'll see ya.